Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another tutorial from Judicator of Genocide. This is a build I've created after playing Mr. Cola Colin. Um, it is extremely macro oriented, and this build can be improved upon as well as this playstyle, but this is even with all the errors I make in this build that you'll see, it far surpasses the Quadratech build. And I might just call this one Ace because I just built one energy storage. And I squeeze it in pretty early. <clears throat> so this time I open up with one energy, four metal, a bot factory, two energies, <clears throat> and energy storage. The first bot fabricator comes out to assist the commander until he finishes that first energy, then he goes to metal. Now, since these metals are so close, I have to have an idle worker for a little bit until that energy gets up. And then now, you know, after this third energy, I can stick all my fabricators on gathering metal. I do that up to five and then I immediately throw down another bot factory for bot fabricators. So I'm going to pause it here. <clears throat> if you look at my energy and my metal, they're both peaked, right? So I'm wasting all this positive. I'm, it's wasting. I don't have it in the bank. So I throw down another energy and this will up my energy storage. I didn't, but I would say after this energy, I would throw down a metal storage. And then after five more energies, I would start mixing in vehicle factories with the commander and his assisting fabricator. So if your opponent, if you know your opponent likes to go hyper aggressive or you're feeling unsafe, you can mis mix in turrets along with your metal fields, and I start to do that as soon as I start to get a little further away from my base. Now these bot fabricators are coming out of here two at a time, they immediately go into assisting, get up vehicle factories as soon as possible. So now do you see that I'm getting defenses up along my metal lines. I have guys constantly getting metal the whole time and still with this build order here your metal and your energy are both extremely high with the first air factory I just have them patrol around I'm just gonna try to intercept the attacks until I burn some of this economy then I'll move out for the attack um, even with seven fabricators throwing down factories as quick as they can. I'm unable to spend this money. And this is with two factories making bot fabricators the entire time. So what I need to do next time is count it out to where this energy starts to peak and then I need to start mixing in vehicle factories also with the commander and these bots. <coughs> Also, the further away you get from your base, you could use more turrets. As you can see, my shift queue is decent, and I've already sent guys to just build turrets around the whole circumference of the base. And thrown in turrets every so often in my metal fields, so they don't get picked off for free. So, I'm just going ants this game. 
I would recommend out of like your first vehicle factory, you throw down a vehicle fabricator so you're not forced into and look how early this tier 2 is prior to 9 minutes with the previous builds I've been unable to throw down a tier 2 with a bunch of bots assisting it this early simply because the early fabricator in production and the start of the game has just allowed the economy to explode um, this unit count right here should be larger because my commander and his goonies that I'm sending to assist him should be mixing in vehicle factories every so often until I can start to drag this economy down and also see how this metal has been positive just plumb full for so long I would recommend a metal storage after this energy storage and instead of having just turrets going a complete 360 queue around the base like I'm doing I would just go ahead and put them in the metal spots everywhere that way whenever your workers get there to go build metal they're already being defended and then they can mix in a couple more turrets and then you have in these outer layers of metal you will have more than one turret protecting a clump of metal it's also going to be nice when uber implements the building tier 2 metal over tier 1 metal because then as you'll see the build kind of stagnates because my actions per minute die off when the bot fabricators get over here somewhere and they sit idle instead of gathering metal but as soon as tier 2 gets done that's going to be a 100 percent reminder hey go get tier 2 metal right next to your base and you'll be able to upgrade all these to just T2 as, as fast as you can so continuing with the build you know at this point I'm just kinda winging it and I didn't realize that my economy was so high so now I've just got more guys just building vehicle factories down here as well to try to drag it down now I'm finally getting to drag down now they could have I can see how these guys are idle they could have if they weren't idle I'd probably be in the negative right with the metal um they could be working with these guys if I had that metal storage over here and that metal I would still have twice as much metal or it gives you an extra like 1200 or something I would have over twice the metal to burn through up here so gotta ring of scouts going around my base I need to make this ring wider and wider as the game goes on so I can have earlier forewarning of attacks also I would suggest building turrets next to this big huge stockpile of energy I can see right now these turrets are kinda useless what if he came in with a force like right here and then just ate through all that metal these turrets could have been more smartly placed I believe should have a little bit larger units out on the field with mixing factories in with the commander but eventually my bot fabricator production and look at this idle fabricators over here that could be taking metal out this way this is where I just need to practice with the build and everybody needs if you use this build you just need to practice till look at this idle bot fabricators here too my metals full and you can mix in energy every so often with these guys if your energy starts to go down with this style of play it's going to be extremely extremely hard to play at its optimal rate but as you can see 
I believe you're a little bit more easily able to defend a base that's like this versus that replay I showed you with old Colin. You know, he was real spread out everywhere. If a player played his exact same style but a little more compact, I think it would hurt him if they just moved out with a large force and then had turrets of their own in places to prevent his multi-prong attacks and just came at him with a big clump and every so often they were running into his production like his production wasn't protected by a front or by turrets at his six you know I would rather much put those turrets just right around here so look at that energy and metal I could be banking more metal I could be banking more energy I need more guys producing probably at this point in time it's time to instead of having two guys produce fabricators probably three or four you gotta spend that money I'm not spending that money quick enough you'll see I'm able to spend it a little bit more whenever I start using advanced fabrication vehicles so this build was not played optimally but it gives you a, a, a certain economic play style to go after and you have a general opening that'll get it going and then from there it's just going to be individual player skill that dictates the course of the build and this game was played on that gentleman's ladder but Commander Krill is kinda newer player on the ladder I believe but as you can see he's going really heavy defenses but it doesn't amount to much whenever you have so many production facilities and your economy is so large and the outskirts of your co economy that you have going out is won't be taken for free. Yeah, it could be taken, but it won't be taken for free. I would probably those f fabricators that I had put that ring around the base. Instead of the ring, I'd probably just protect this energy clump and the production clump with turrets. And then, like another set, I would pre-send out to all the metals, and then just click ginormous cues on your guys so they're not sitting around idle for a long time like mine were. That's just bad multitasking. So, I also didn't build any vehicle fabrication units, which I should have. So, instead, of, I just, after scouting him, I knew I'd win the game. I got, just like when Colin was playing me, I got lazy in my execution simply because I knew I just had too much of an economic lead. I'm going into T2 energy, you know. I haven't let these guys go idle for a while. That's not good. I should you should always be building with your commander. This is just lazy. Continuing to expand. Continuing to make unit producing structures. Continuing to put defenses along the metal even before I take it. So yeah, he kills it. Probably. But at least I got three ants out of the deal, right? And then I kind of lose track of him. And he just runs into another turret, loses the rest of the ants. So the commander and all those defenses was able to clean up the first push just barely. So I fall back and. I think I do start making advanced vehicle factories. Yeah, there's an advanced vehicle factory. Because he's got so many defenses, I'm like, okay, I need shellers. And then I go into some nukes, I believe. So you should be, you expand and basically 
A 360 degree radius in the mid game and you expand until you meet resistance. The further away you get up from your base, the sooner you implement the turret placement by the metal before you start building the metal. Now, you know, my metal's negative because I. These guys should be building. These guys should be building. They're just now building. These guys are building metal because it's negative, so I just try to go after a bunch of metal real quick. I should have defenses along this metal, but I don't. So, as you can see, with this playstyle, you can just get so big that. it's going to require a great amount of skill to play these types of builds optimally so let's go over that opening again and look at certain places where we can streamline it and improve upon it and this time we'll do it a little bit quicker for you guys and yes, this is, um, depending on how far, how long you go without placing turrets, you know, the build, like the spearhead build, has an opportunity to cripple this before it gets going. But if this style of play is allowed to get a foothold on an economic standing, then the other op opponent better be playing as economic as you are, or he's in trouble. You know, you can come in with bombers, but then you can pretty much insta-build anti-air turrets with five bots. With a bot and a commander, you can pretty much insta-build anti-air turrets. So I just don't see how, you know, a bomber rush would defeat this. The only thing I th and the spearhead build needs to be optimized. I probably need to take out, I probably need to open up more along the lines of this and become more of a dedicated all-in because you can't let this build get turrets up and defenses up you need to be striking him just quick and in Colin's build he gets a scout quicker which allows him to be a little safer but I just went for a scout after I got two structures producing fabricators which allows the build to get its build going a little bit quicker. So, one energy, four metal, bot factory, two energies, an energy storage, then I did nine, and then canceled the Q because the energy was so high, then an energy storage, then after that energy storage, after nine energies after this energy, I would build a metal storage, and then continue into energy, and then when you can afford it, be sneaking in unit producing structures whatever unit producing structures you want as you can afford it don't let yourself go negative if you got a bunch of metal around you like this spot that I spawned at was just awesome I really didn't have to go far for a bunch of metal but usually when the metal is a little further away from you by the time these fabricators get to this fabricator they can just continue building without dipping into the negatives, but since I was so close, I was not using them sometimes until, let's say after that third energy, then even if you're close, you can just have them working, like, look at that energy go up, he should be working, and he's not working, there he goes, now he's working, so, you know, after, and I can throw a turret in here, a turret right here, just to be safe from extremely hard attack cues like the spearhead build but I don't know it's a risk you take and how big of a risk you take is probably what will gain you those inches you need when you're facing another player that plays economic like this but it's the more safe you are the more likelihood that you're gonna stay alive when somebody's playing a hyper aggressive build like an optimized spearhead build is probably going to hit me around six ish minutes with just a crap ton of bots. And I'm just going to have to aim for 
you know, six minutes, because there goes a first turret. If the guy plays a little greedy like I did here and doesn't build one. So, there's a lot of different attack angles you could come in here. But, there's no reason I couldn't have to throw in a turret here, throw in a turret here, you know, and then just have one guy building a turret by this unit producing structure because you can afford it and you're building fabricators constantly with two unit producing structures the entire time so that metal storage would help me bank some more metal which I would spend while sneaking in structures so I highly suggest you do that so as you can see the shift queue includes turrets in the Q after five or so metal throw a turret down. You know, maybe two if you want to be extremely safe. Guys constantly. Out of these two, guys are just constantly making production facilities. Boom 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 boom. So I just got a bunch of queued up energy here. Like right now I could sneak in a factory. I have two hundred and twelve thousand energy to burn through in my storage. This could be a factory and that could be going down. And see how it's positive now? So, now that it's always positive, you know, here, right here at this place would be the optimal time to sneak in another factory with these two guys. And then after you did that, you'd have to watch your replay again and see when it went back positive. So, that's it. That was in metal storage, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After eight, so, nine energy and metal and then eight and then a unit producing structure and then X amount whatever you found out later then unit producing structure all these fabricators just constantly on unit producing structures and then you just decide whenever you feel safe enough to go into your tier two constantly throwing up defenses you need to keep these cues large and then you know, if you know that you're going up another extremely economic aggressive player, you could be running out with these bot fabricators over here to start defenses and metal extractors and etc. And then if your energy really starts to tank, you can start mixing in energy with these guys as well. And make sure you allocate you know, workers here and there to that commander to help him continue to keep that energy up. So as you can see, it's a good framework to go off of, but definite makes this a high skill ceiling way to play the game. And if it goes into a macro game and your opponent doesn't keep up, you're just going to get the free win. You know, if he's attacking you on different fronts, it's going to be how how did you bet on your turret placement and your army positioning? I just put mine right here, and hopefully with the scouts, I'd see him coming in and just send the army out whichever direction I needed to. And I think that's just a phenomenal economic skeleton that just totally makes the Quadratech build look like crap. You know? And I was... After playing Colin, I was thinking about calling it the Liquid build. But you know what? This extremely heavy economic build is relying on, in my opinion. Yes, you get massive and you have all kinds of units and everything. But I think that it's relying on your... gambling on turrets. Your turret placement. So... I'm gonna coin this one the porcupine build because you got just needles out everywhere and can they weave their way through these needles and do enough damage to tear your economy down or do you put your needles in the right place thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial we will as you've seen we're continuing to evolve our play and 
we will continue to do so and bring you good 1v1 and team game strategies. Not only will we do these economic styles, we will do all ends to diversify our play so we can change it up whenever we're playing a series of games.